Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about some embellishments to up the game on your cards or your projects that I love. So if you're not using these products, you have to start. They really can take your projects into the wow factor. So I'm gonna go over a few of my absolute favorites in this video. Let's do it. All right, everybody, let's get into the first one, which I'm sure you've heard of, and they are white gel pens. They can really add such a fine detail to your projects or to your coloring, whatever you're doing. I'm gonna show you multiple ways that I'm gonna use them. But I really, really love how it sort of makes the images come alive. Now, it doesn't make them look realistic necessarily, but you can see here with the comparison left to right, it really does add something special. So that little white gel pen just does a lot. If you're wondering what white gel pen you should use, I did an entire video comparing them. So I will link that below. All right, let's talk about a whiteout pen. Now these you can pick up from the Dollar Tree or really any place that sells office supplies. It is meant to be like a whiteout pen with the white sort of uh, liquid and it comes out in the perfect shape of the non-perfect circle. <laughs> so what I mean by that is it looks like sort of like a realistic snow. So here you can see in my snow globe, and I'm also going to show you how I made the snow on this background using my white uh, whiteout pen. I just love it. I think if you're looking for perfectly round circles, this is not the thing. It just doesn't really come out. I guess you can draw the circles perfectly, but when you're just like smacking it down there on the paper like I am, I love it because I can make big dots and little tiny dots. And that's really where it gives the, uh, the difference in your snowy backgrounds. Now we're still in the subject of white pens, so I am gonna pull it back out this pen here and I'm gonna show you that it's not always just for making highlights. Sometimes you can actually make some really cool accents on your card. So right here, these are literally just squares. I used a stamping uh, ink pad to make squares and then I outlined them with a white gel pen on some black cardstock with some um, watercoloring. So it's just it's just a fun way to have a good time with those. We are moving into the next embellishment pen type thing and I have to tell you I don't know listen let's just get it out in the open all of these are my favorites <laughs> that's why I'm showing you them but boy does this snow marker have a special place in my heart. I have found so many ways to use it. So the first one you saw, the little pug was in a cup with some Frappuccino. This one is, I'm using it as beer foam on this card. Here you could see such a awesome effect. It really does, it gives you that, that's the wow factor for me. It gives you like this three dimensional thing on your card. I used it as poodle's fur. I've used it as the caps for the waves in the ocean, so you can check that out here. It's just such a great thing to have in your stash and to use in multiple, multiple ways. I'm sure there's many, many ways I didn't even mention it that you can use it. Now let's talk about the glitter pen. Now I don't have too many examples using the glitter pen because it's so simple. It's a pen that you squeeze out uh, some liquid and it has a very sparkly shimmer. Now there are multiples on the market and I have used pretty much all of them. And they, I really can't tell you a big difference between the glitter markers that I've used. They all, the sparkle pens, they all have um, the same concept to them. I think it's just one of those things where companies just want to come out with one that has their name on it because I really haven't found one that I'm just like, this is the end all be all glitter pen. You should use this one. <laughs> so I've really tried multiples and they're all good. But that is the glitter pen. And this is a good example of the shimmer that you can get from your glitter. It's hard to see on camera. All right, let's talk about the next thing, which is clear glaze. Now, again, there are multiples on the market. I like the Nouveau Crystal Glaze. I think that's one of my favorite. And I think the reason I love it so much is the way it comes out of the bottle. It's very easy to control. It doesn't pour out. I just like it. I like the Crystal Glaze. Um, it's great. So what this does is it adds 
a beautiful enamel type of glaze on top of your images and it's just it's amazing and you can use it for multiple reasons as well this one i'm going to be using to make the windshield on this car so that it actually looks like a windshield and so otherwise you know again otherwise it's a beautiful card but it just brings it up one little notch to that next level anything that would have a natural sheen you could use the crystal glaze over it and one thing i would definitely not do is use a white gel pen to get the highlights and then put the crystal glaze over it it always diminishes the white gel pen i don't know why i just can never get it to both work together nor do you really need to because now you have a natural reflection so uh, here you can see that flamingo was naturally shiny so that was a perfect way to use it the tops of these uh, pill bottles here beautiful way to use it this is one of my favorite cards by the way and that image is from the large platypus he is from um i think a honeybee stamp anyway that's a really cute way you know, the band-aid is shiny so again you can use that anytime you want to uh, really pull out that piece that's supposed to be shiny and then just this last example i added it to uh, a few pieces of paint Moving on to our next one, if you have been hanging out with me for any amount of time over the holidays, you'll know that stickles are my fave to use during the holidays, but you can also use them at any point. I love the consistency of stickles. Uh, stickles are like an enamel dot, except I don't use them as drops. I use them to accent pieces of my imagery. And so here, for example, I'm putting on the trees and the houses to give it a snowy, glisteny look on top of those so you can see um, it just beautiful and you can get them in multiple colors so i'm going to show you i believe the snowy ones which are diamond i want to say and then as well as the silver but here i'm going a little step further and i'm not just adding it to the roofs but i'm adding some icicles coming down and again it was a very plain roof and now we are just giving it that the little oomph it deserves. And you can see I use stickles probably the most during the holiday season just because I like to put snow on everything. And uh, I feel like it just really does. So here you can see I the last couple that I showed, the stickles and the glaze, they do take time to dry. So that is probably the con. Is that once you put those uh, embellishments on, you have to put it aside and let it dry. As well as the last example, which are uh, enamel dots. So here in this next example I'm showing you, I used um, silver stickles. And again, that's just another piece. Now this is not a winter card, but you can add the silver stickles. I like the way the nozzle is so I can draw with it. I think that's one of the reasons why stickles are probably my favorite, one of my favorites, because of the consistency and the way that they come out. So here you can see I used silver on that one. All right, let's now talk about enamel dots. So enamel dots are similar in fashion to the stickles, except their intent is to be uh, used for putting dots on your projects and hopefully getting beautiful circles. But I'm using them in multiple ways. Now in this example, I'm using them to color in an image. I used Nuvo Drops for this. The image did crack when it dried. I think I just put too much on. You could probably paint it on for a little bit less of uh, that dimension on the card. However, um, think outside the box with your enamel dots. So here I'm using the white for the glue kind of spilled out. I do absolutely have a favorite brand of enamel dots and it would be scrapbook.com's Pops of Color. I cannot say enough how the consistency of these is perfection. Uh, they come out perfectly. They make perfect circles. They dry hard. They dry pearlescent, some of them. Some of them dry shiny or glitter. They are just seriously out of all of the enamel dots I've tried. They are the best, in my opinion. I'm showing you different ways that I'm using them. There I just used to label um, some ink daubers that I have. It just helps me see what color I should pull out to use when I'm blending some ink. So that's one unique way to use it. It's not adding anything to your project as an embellishment. But I also kind of used it as a wax seal. So you let it 
almost dry and then you could put your wax seal in it um, and that could bring your project up to the next level. Here I'm making backgrounds with my enamel dots uh, with my pops of color and I am just spreading that across the paper. Um, this actually when it dries what's cool about this background is it's sort of like an embossing paste background where you get a shimmer or a shine uh, and a little bit of a raised feeling to it so some texture for your projects so that could definitely elevate that and this is a fun technique here I'm just going to put down some rainbow colors of pops of color and then I am going to um, <laughs> smash two pieces of cardstock together I know it's like scientific uh, here but very very simple and you'll see this really cool like grainy effect on it but if you do try this you got to work really fast because they dry and stick together quite quickly and so there's just some of those examples you get some some backgrounds that you can have some fun with with your pops of color all right another way that uh, I like to add embellishments to my project here is to take my pops of color similar to how I did with the glue and this is really where I'm just encouraging you to think outside the box with the stuff that you have because um, I'm making that little horn 3D dimensional if you will uh, because I'm adding some some of those pops of color to it I also add it to the bottom of this uh, this card here just to give it again some more fun I'm gonna take this kind of pops of color I think this is like called snow glitter or something and I'm gonna put it through a stencil I'm gonna use it as an embossing paste and again these are the types that you just want to make sure that you put aside and let to dry I'm also freehanding, which is very similar to the idea of the stickles. So this is just a different uh, item to use, but just freehanding some super fun things. And then of course, the traditional type of enamel dots. Um, everything I used or showed in this video is gonna be linked below, so you can check out the video description and get those links for yourself. Okay, so now you know the embellishments that I am obsessed with. So what is your favorite? Put it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear. I want to know about the things I'm missing so that I can start playing with them as well. As always, I will see you in the comments down below and in the next video. Bye-bye.